girls so as you can tell by the title of this video today I'm gonna be showing you how to make your very own DIY custom pin board as you can see I have some of my pins on here that I love so dearly I'm not gonna go through and like do a whole pin collection I will have to do an updated one of those later on I will go ahead and link my pin collection right here on the screen I have gotten new ones since then so I will have to do an updated one like I just said but yes today we are focusing on the board itself I'm gonna show you how to make one of these all on your own so with that being said I guess without further talking let's just jump on into this video so you can see how I made this this is a standard basic cork board I ordered off of eBay. I've also seen the exact same one available at Michael's. And I actually took some white spray paint and spray painted the frame as well as the cork itself. Now this part, like spray painting the cork itself is completely and totally optional. The only reason I did that is because the fabric that I have is just this basic really really thin cotton and if the background is not white or light colored it kind of mutes this pink down quite a bit and it looks like a little bit more deep or mauve and I really didn't like that so that's why I went ahead and spray painted uh, the cork instead another option that you can do is get some like white poster board or butcher paper and put it on the cork board first as a background um, so that the white can show through the fabric now again you can also definitely do this with uh, scrapbook paper or um, even wrapping paper is another awesome alternative I just chose to use fabric feel free to use whatever you want to use get creative with it do whatever you want you can use just basic paper you don't even have have to do this you can easily just create like a little pattern or something on the cork itself with some paint but for this tutorial I'm just gonna show you guys how I did this so as you can see there is that and I already trimmed down this piece of fabric so now the next step after this is laid down I'm going to take just a little bead of hot glue around just the very very edges you want to avoid putting hot glue like in the center and things because this is where you're going to be pinning stuff down and you basically just want it to be secure kind of on this outer edge right here since you probably won't be able to pin anything down on the outer edges anyway just do a super thin bead around the edges and avoid putting any in the center because because since you are going to be putting pins in if you have a thick layer of hot glue right in the middle and you go to put a pin in it's gonna get stuck in that glue and it's not gonna want to push through to the cork so just keep that in mind only just go around the little perimeter and as you can see there are some little gaps between the fabric and the board that is totally fine because I'm actually going to fix that in my own little way which you guys will see in a minute of course you can definitely just stop here once you have it glued down and just call this your board but I am going to add my own little spin on it to kind of customize it to myself even a little bit more but I'm just gonna go ahead and glue this down now Okay, so once that little trim is glued down to make this a little more feminine I have this lace ribbon which you guys might remember from my Eda bag video what I'm gonna go and do now is as you can see there are a few little gaps around the edge here I'm just going to line this up with the edge and glue down this lace all the way around and with this step, I prefer to do a little bit at a time rather than laying the whole thing down at once because I want it to be a little bit more precise. Okay. 
So there you can see what the little lace detail looks like right there. I'm just gonna go ahead and finish up all of the other edges now. Now again, at this point, you can totally stop here. That is completely up to you. But I do have this pretty sequin that, again, you guys might remember from my Eda bag video. And I have it in white and pink. And I was looking at these, seeing which one I liked better. And honestly, looking at both of them, I think I prefer like the iridescence of the white because it is reflective and it has more of a purpley pink shine to it. Whereas this one is more of an orangey pink shine. So I think I'm going to go with the white. And as you can see, what I'm going to do here is basically go over that little uh, bottom band of that lace ribbon. I'm going to go in with my sequin and kind of just clean up even more. I think I might go a little bit on the frame with the sequin because I don't want to cover up too much of the lace. I don't know. Again, you could totally stop at this point. You don't have to add the extra sequin and stuff, but I really like the look of it. So I think I'm going to go ahead and add that now. So I'm just going to go through the long process of trimming this and gluing it and doing all that fun stuff. So here we go. And here is the finished product. Obviously you don't have to use these boards just for pins. You can also get some cute little thumbtacks and tack up some photos or notes. You can use this as a memo board or to just tack up some pictures. You do not need to use this just as an enamel pin board, but feel free to let your imagination run wild and do whatever you so choose. I love how this turns out. I know pin boards can be crazy expensive. I was looking at custom pin boards on Etsy one day and some of them were like 40, 50, 60 dollars and I think I made this in under like 15 dollars if that. So it's definitely cool. You can also switch out the fabric whenever you want. You can just kind of take it apart, peel it off, and then start from scratch. It's a little bit more of a pain in the butt to completely redo it, but it definitely Definitely is possible and you could 100% do so. Let me know what you guys think of this down in the comments section below. And now I'm just going to go ahead and start loading it up with my pins. And of course this does not have to be done in a neatly orderly fashion. You can scatter them, you can like create a design with your pins like a heart shape or spell out your name or just be creative and do whatever you want. But I'm just going to go ahead and start putting my pins on how I so please. And so that is my pin board. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I told you it was pretty easy for the most part. Again, feel free to be creative with this and use whatever fabric or scrapbook paper or sequins or no sequins or ribbons or whatever the heck you wanna use 
or don't want to use, go for it because that's the whole fun of DIY projects is kind of tweaking them and making them your own custom to your likes and dislikes and everything like that. So if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up, share it with your friends or your family members, someone who may be interested in something like this. And this is also a great, great, great gift idea. I actually made a smaller one of these and gifted it to my friend Angel for her birthday and she absolutely loved it because she didn't have a proper place to store her pins and now she has a beautiful little picture frame that is holding all of her pins right now. It's a really easy DIY that you can actually gift someone. So with the holidays coming around, I know y'all like to save some money when gift shopping and some of you guys really enjoy making your own gifts for your family or friends and this is a wonderful idea so if you do use this idea and you do decide to make your own custom little pin board or memo board or whatever you don't have to just put pins on this like I said you can put Polaroid photos you can put uh, memos notes whatever you want to put on it be my guest. Uh, but if you do decide to recreate this or make one of your own, please, please, please tag me in your photos of them on Instagram and Twitter. My usernames for both accounts are just Amanda31409, the same as my YouTube channel. And if this is my first video you've ever watched of mine, if this is the first video you are ever seeing on my channel, uh, feel free to subscribe for future videos. And with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys go, and I will talk to you all in my next video. So until then, so long, stay strong, stay true, and be you. Alright, bye!